yeah, last week we named Hippocampus Nalu, um, which um, was very exciting. This so, first photo's got a little bit of a yeah. punk, punk rock mohawk there. Yeah, it looks yeah. some algae on it. He's covered in like a little algal fuzz as well, um, but they're crazy. So, you know, South Africa is known for big diving mm. and sharks and all that stuff. Um, and it's all quite, yeah, intense, the diving. <laughs> so I went to Sedwana Bay and I'm used to diving with pygmies in Indonesia, which is all like calm. You might get a current, but um, we had to go th like, through the surf in this thing and the boats might flip over and um, it was crazy. And then you go out to sea and it's a, just a descent directly down onto the reef um, and the huge swells. The swells were picking up the sand and like blasting the poor pygmies with oh. it. And the female one got buried up to her neck in sand and then just kind of shook it off and went away oh. and carried on. And so it's not like your normal Indonesian no. dainty seahorse. It's quite funny. Not really um, ideal for taking macro photos. It's quite, a di quite <laughs> no. a, a, an harsh environment they live. And if I think yeah. also at the, the Bargibanti here or the other ones, they, they, they like to stay in that strong current, you know, like... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, why, it's why, true, they why, do. Why is that? <laughs> more, um, more nutrients. Yeah, I think it's because then you get a richer community of food because they, they don't feed on the Gorgonian itself. They're feeding on the, the community of little crustaceans and things that live on the Gorgonian surface. Okay. So then I, the more current it is, the more food that's feeding the Gorgonian and the little um, things that live on there too. So, um, awesome. yeah. Uh, even the Pontohi, I, I, I remember it like on the walls of Bunak and all the time. And with the swell that you were just mentioning, always going like left, right banging left and right <laughs> left and right they, they like this movement life yeah yeah well it's stressful like i was saying with the you know having a lot of experience photographing pygmies we had so we did six dives in sodwana bay um and when there was this swell i was like i'm not not coming home with the photo <laughs> that I yeah needed. right yeah yeah um so yeah it was quite stressful to make sure i got something to illustrate it had because, someone yeah. shown you a photo before you went like were they were so, you sort of in saying hold it i'm not sure there's a there's a new species here it just doesn't make sense or did you have a little well, bit of disbelief at first well it was kind of a longish story but i'll try and make it a shorter one because it's more about seahorse dweebs but um <laughs> so um we'd kind of all been quite excited about pygmy pipe horses um a uh, friend, Graham, uh, had, is just naming a new one from New Zealand. And they basically look a lot like a seahorse, but they're not quite. Um, so he was naming that and I'd just seen that. Then he, there was, uh, someone had seen one from Sedwana Bay, um, a pygmy pipe horse, um, which is like a fish like this big, looks like a seahorse basically, so the untrained eye. So um, my colleague Lo, uh, at Low Classens, she's a South African working on the endemic seahorse that lives in uh, of the southern tip of Africa. Um, she'd gone up there with another of our colleagues, um, Dave Harasti. Um, so they went to look for this pygmy pipe horse um, on an adventure and they were doing some other work together. Um, they got to Sodwana Bay and it was crazy weather. They did one dive, didn't see anything. Um, but the word got out in the village of Sodwana that they were looking for this pygmy pipe horse. Um, which is when Savannah um, came to them and said, I've seen a pygmy pipe horse, I think, and showed them a picture, which was the pygmy seahorse. Um, okay. And then they were like, hold on, what's happening? This isn't the pygmy pipe horse. Um, and then Lo sent me the picture. Um, and then I got very excited and then went there myself. Um, and S Savannah was amazing. So we named the, the new pygmies named after Savannah. Um, gotcha. uh, Savannah Nalu. Nalu is her middle name. Um, so yeah, it's named after her, which is exciting. And she's born and raised in Sedwana Bay. Oh, okay. Um, hopefully she can be a nice ambassador for the species in the yeah. area and get people excited about conserving the area and stuff. Were yeah. you with her when you, Very when nice. she pointed it out? Was she the one that pointed out your first one to you? Yeah. So we, um, I like showed her some of my research and what I was about. Um, she then was willing to get, take us to show us cause she was a bit reticent really to, right. you can kind of imagine. And it's like a yeah, your secret. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so she was amazing. She took us to see, yeah, she showed us the first pair. Um, and then actually, so the first picture is that the, I think it's the male. Then there's a more spe speckledy one is the female. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are watching um, it now. They were one pair in the little area. Um, and then the third picture is a little baby. I found a tiny baby on another reef, oh, um, which is like dark. a dark yeah, one. Right. So that one was about 1.2 centimeters long um, and it just settled. So they're breeding and settling there. And cool. so it was really nice to see that too. So there's some high fives going on underwater when you found it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Um, we were so happy. It's really, yeah, it was amazing. Um, and then the guy we were diving with, Christo, um, he had seen the pygmy pipe horse. So we had one dive, we were focusing on the pygmy. Um, and then the last of the six dives, we went much deeper. It was like 25 meters in search of this pygmy pipe horse. Um, and he just took us right down to it and was like, oh, there it is. Oh, wow. um, so there's another new one coming. Cool. Um, so that should be out in a few months, hopefully. Yeah, just gonna ah, get people cool. to stop looking at the sharks and the mantis. <laughs> That's it. Well, so Joanna Bay gets all of the ragged tooth, the gray yeah. nurse shark. Um, so I think that distracts people for a few months a year. Yeah, you need to choose the lens. Yeah.